How's it going everyone? Mario 3 is a game that will just keep on giving. If you saw this video, you're wondering how the hell can Mario 3 get a buff with early hammer manipulation? Well, very interestingly, there is a speedrunner named Narfman on Twitch and he actually stumbled upon my stream and watched me do SMB3 warpless speedruns and the old days of early hammer manipulation using the emulator, trying to sync up my TV and the emulator all at the same time and he took it upon himself to actually develop a tool that would allow you to power on your NES and the emulator on the exact same frame without having to do it physically. The tool would do it for you. And what you would do is you would synchronize your millisecond latency between your TV and the emulator. And what makes this interesting is that I just started doing it for about a week now, about two weeks, and it takes a lot of work to try and synchronize the MS uh, latency delay and the the action frames and the action frames are like when you should be jumping um, at the end of levels. With that being said, Super Mario Brothers 3 speedrunning has always had a no external tool policy. Uh, a great example is in America, you're not allowed to use a turbo controller. Uh, for speedrunning, but in Japan, you are allowed to use a turbo controller. So these little tool things are kind of what defines the direction of the speedrun. So there's slight controversy. Is this a tool to help benefit you speedrunning and is it allowed? I kind of want to break this down so everyone at home can kind of decide themselves. Like, do you guys think this is a tool? And I definitely want to hear it in the comments below. I want everyone talking about this because there are some interesting points. I actually did a stream a couple days ago that I mentioned I would never ever use a tool. And I'm a very old fashioned speedrunner. I've been speedrunning for a very long time. I started with Speed Demos Archive, super old. And I feel that any tool that does any input for you is not allowed. Now, I, I always stand by that. So if there's something powering on the emulator for me where I could power it on myself with the console, that's something that I should be able to do. That's something I can do. And that's something I should take pride in doing as a skill, right? If I don't time it perfectly, it's kind of like a musician. If you can't go along with the click track properly, you got to get better. You got to get better with the metronome. So that's something that I, I stand my ground on. But speedrunning is a little different. I'm not having something physically pressing the power on my NES for me. Nothing's doing that for me. I'm still pressing power and reset. So is the tool actually doing it for me? What do you guys think? Another great point is that the emulator and stuff are on my monitor. So I'm just using audio cues. I'm not even using video cues with the tool anymore. For anyone who doesn't know about how the tool works, take a look at this video right here from one of my streams a couple days ago where I actually enter World 2 and we're going to watch from World 2 until the end of the fortress so you guys can watch and see how the early hammer works and me getting the early hammer and how the tool works. So take a look at that for a second. Nothing worse than your hot dog bun splitting. I know. It doesn't help that the hot dog is like hard to hold as well. Right? It's like not easy. Let's go, thank you very much. Ooh, I hope I don't get the bad frame there. Let's go, two in a row. That's technically three in a row. What? Why? Why, man? That's okay, we'll just get another early hammer. And another early hammer. And another one, and another one. So yeah, that is the tool right there. What do you guys think of it? Do you guys think that's cheating? Do you guys think that's uh, an external tool? I'm still physically doing everything and I'm just using an audio cue. And if you actually look really closely, I close my eyes 
to time all of my jumps. I'm just using all audio cue, keeping my eyes closed. It's it actually works perfectly. So as someone in the community who swore against tools, there are other people who swear against tools. However, there was a conversation discussed amongst the mods that allows a tool like this. There wasn't any crazy detail that specified, you know, exactly why the tool is allowed. The way I used to do early hammer manipulation with the task was that it was all visual, nothing was doing anything for me. The last point that I could possibly think of that would 100% allow something like this to be used in speedrun is that if you think about it, the tool is used before I actually start my speed run. And now that is something to really, really take into consideration. Everyone knows that as soon as I press start on player one start in Mario 3, that's when my speed run officially starts and that's where nothing can be tampered with, right? If the timer started when I powered on, maybe the tool would be an outside tool and it would be banned and it wouldn't be allowed. However, the speed run has not started. So what does it matter what I do whenever I power on the console. I haven't started my speedrun. I mean, I can turn on my NES and go to the bathroom, come back, press start, start the timer. It's not like anything bad happened, right? That's kind of where the buff is coming from. The last stream I did, I got four early hammers in a row and I got six early hammers in a four and a half hour stream. That is an insane consistency. So there's no doubt in my mind that this tool has massively increased the consistency of early hammer manipulation. and. And that might be something that people can look at and be like, oh yeah, that gives an unfair advantage. Look at it. Because before when I did it, I got lucky if I got five early hammers in one stream, which I was still able to do. But overall, still a crazy advantage because I don't have to power anything on. I just power on my console and the tool does all the visuals and stuff like that. And boom, it starts the task based on a visual cue and a frame. And then I adjust all the stuff later. So it is a tool, but my speedrun hasn't started yet. So we already have some runners in the Mario 3 community that are very interested in using early hammer manipulation. We have me who's already using this tool. We have Narfman, the creator, he's using this tool. I have Teeks88 who's already asked me for some assets behind the tool. We have Yadokami already trying the tool. We know Louie has been interested in the tool. He has not tried this tool yet. I think overall this is just going to increase the success rate of early hammer amongst the community. Narfman actually just got a PB of 50 minutes and 54 seconds. That's actually third place. He jumped from a 51-14 all the way to a 50-54 just using this getting a couple early hammer runs. Overall, this does bring down the average time of the warpless run lower and lower. So as a community and as a game and as I guess humans were just lowering down the time altogether. And isn't that the main goal at the end of the day to see how far we can push these games and these speed runs. I would really, really like to know what you all think about this. And if you believe that this is a tool and this is a, some form of cheating and speed run, don't be afraid to mention it in the comments below. I, I accept all opinions and I love talking about all this stuff, but as it stands, it is accepted in the Mario 3 speed run. So you guys are gonna see a lot more and let's get that 49, we are not 91 early hammer manipulation runs in. We gotta get the 49 before 100. I, I don't know if we are going to, but let's try for that. Thank you all for watching, and I really, really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned more about the early hammer manipulation and what's going on in the Mario 3 community. You guys take it easy, and have a good day. Whee!